these areas are just getting more diverse. Like you're seeing the change, you're seeing it. And I think you have to have diversity on your staff because you're not gonna be able to reach all athletes if you don't have it. Even for me, you're seeing a lot more men coaches in women's sports. Um, I think you're, uh, we need more diversity for African-American women in, in leadership in leadership roles. That's another reason why I think the mentorship thing is something cool. It's happened naturally in our state. You know, minorities uh, have, are in high, high positions in our uh, association. Uh, they are in uh, high positions in our coaching field at uh, great head coaches. It's been something that's, uh, that's been gradually coming and, uh, and uh, much overdue. Our mission statement is helping coaches help kids and that, that guides us in everything that we do and our goal is to provide education for our coaches about diversity and inclusion and equity and awareness and how coaches can have those conversations with their staff, with their community, with their team. And that's exactly what's, what's happening. And it's amazing. I can't believe this is my 28th year. I cannot believe how many uh, minority head football coaches there is now. I think they're doing a good job. Honestly, I think they're doing a good job of, of keeping the diversity. The biggest thing right now is just getting people to stay in the profession. Coaching, in my personal opinion, is a calling. Right, I mean, it's an honor to call yourself a coach and to be called coach.